Let's take a look at these general chart reading practice problems. We're working on this Block Island Sound and Approaches chart. And this chart, you can see the number, 13205 TI. And these are just general questions about this chart. All the information asked for in these questions can be answered on this chart. Let's look at the first one. The soundings in this chart are measured in and the correct answer is feet. This, where did I find that? Right here. Soundings in feet. Here's another this title block. Soundings in feet at mean low or low water. Number two, you're proceeding from a point four miles due east of Montauk Point in route to Long Island Sound via the race. You should expect the soundings too. This problem is a, is a trending problem. What are the depths or the soundings of the water doing. So let's look at this. Montauk Point, four miles east, you're about here. And they want to know what happens to the depth of water as you go to Long Island Sound via the race here. So Long Island Sound, the race. Four miles due east, Montauk Point light. As we head this way, the soundings are constant, constant. We get north of Montauk Point light they start increasing and they increase and then you get into the race. So let's look. You should expect the soundings to C, start increasing when north of Montauk Point. You can check all of these on the second page. A and C we have so far. Yep, A, C. And now let's look at three. The precautionary, air let me start again. The precautionary area located in the vicinity of Latitude 4106.1 north, longitude 7128 west, informs mariners that, so here we are, let's find this latitude and longitude, 41061, 41, 41.05, 06.1, and 71, there's 29, 28.8, come down, precautionary area, C note C, on land masses, and beyond the neat line here, we have notes. So here's note C. It says, recommended traffic lanes have been established for the approaches to Narragansett Bay and Buzzard Bay. Then it says there's a precautionary area. Traffic within the precautionary area may consist of vessels operating between Narragansett Bay and one of the established traffic lanes. Mariners are advised to exercise extreme care in navigating within this area. Let's read the answers. So here we are. Three. Precautionary area located here informs mariners that B. Recommended traffic lanes have been established. If we look at the other one, it's the same area. And this one says advises mariners to. Correct answer is C. Exercise extreme care in navigating within this area. So question three came from note C. Question four came from the second part of note C, precautionary area. Five, the broken magenta lines starting at Montauk Point and running generally east-northeast to Block Island indicate. So here are the broken magenta lines, right? What do these indicate? There's more of these. There's some here, there's some here, there's some here, and what they all have in common is this. Look right in the middle, cable area. Can you see that? Cable area, cable area, cable area, cable area. Good. Six, areas enclosed by a long and short dash magenta line indicate. This could be a tough one without a little bit of help. Long and short dash magenta lines. If you look up here, look at that. Fish trap area, boundary lines of fish trap areas shown are this, long, short, long, short. And this reddish pinkish color is called magenta. So these are fish trap areas. We'll notice right here, these are fish trap areas. See that? And they go all through here. Fish trap area, fish trap area. 
7. The chart informs mariners that Plum Island is. So we need to find Plum Island. And I know it's right here. Plum Island. And the chart informs mariners that Plum Island is U.S. government property and is closed to the public. Here, U.S. government property and closed to the public. So that's, that's how we work these general chart reading practice problems. And I've seen them all before. I wrote a bunch of them. And that's the reason I could solve them so easily. Sometimes it takes some looking at the chart. But the main idea is get to know the chart. Look at every part of this chart. There's a lot of information on this chart. And these practice problems will help you get acquainted with the chart.